Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I have a new installment for the series of my favorites that I have started a while ago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna leave a card up here for the other videos in the series where I swatched my favorite colors from Sennelier and Schmincke. And today we are swatching Roman Schmoll. That's one of my favorite watercolors. I really love this brand and they have a lot of unique colors so I'm super excited to share this with you. But before we start, as usual, just like to ask if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. That helps a lot the channel to grow, the videos to be seen more by more people and uh, everything else as usual. Like. Uh, comment, share, all of this will help me a lot and I really really appreciate it. So like I said today I'm gonna be sharing 23 of my favorite Roman Schmoll colors. They have a huge collection of colors. I haven't tried all of them. I don't know now um, how many colors in their catalog when I'll be editing I'm gonna put it here. There's just um, some new colors that will be re released soon in stores and I'm super excited to try those two, but for now I'm gonna share the ones that I have that I really enjoy. So some of, the, some of them, most of them, I put it in this um, palette here. I think it's a Paul Rubens palette, if I'm not mistaken. And it's very handy because it can fit a lot of pants. As you can see, I have a lot of Roman Schmoll because I really love the brand and they are really affordable as well. They have some colors that kind of um, are similar to the Daniel Smith catalog, but they are way more affordable. So I really love them. And this palette here accommodates them very well. I just used some uh, blue tack and then I stick all the pens here. The, here are two pens that are missing because I use them in a custom palette that I'll be showing you. Sorry for this interruption, I just knocked the, the phone while I was filming and then everything came a bit out of place, but I hope it's okay now. So as I was saying, I have most of my collection in this palette over here and then I made a custom palette with some colors and I have two Roman Schmoll colors over here as well and I have another one two here that are my latest acquisition so the collection is growing and it doesn't help that they're always coming with uh, newer shades <laughs> but it's all good because like I said they're really affordable. For those of you who are not aware Roman Schmoll is a relatively new artist uh, great watercolor paint company. They are located in Poland and they have, a, like I said, a huge catalog of the most um, diverse pigments. You have a lot of mineral pigments as well. And they used to sell those only in um, full pens like this, but they have released not long ago also the half pens. Even though for me personally, the full pens are still the best deal because they they are very affordable, so I'd rather get the full pen. Let's start, shall we? I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit so you can see better the colors. Okay, so um, like in the other videos of the series, these are just my personal preference regarding the colors that I really enjoyed working with for, for mixes, but they have so many colors that there's surely something for everyone. What I really enjoy about most of their colors is that they have texture and then as many of them have beautiful granulation and color separation as well. I'm gonna indicate when I have one of those here. So the first one I have here is Indian Yellow. I'm gonna be sharing the pigments here on the screen while I'm swatching. So 
So this is a beautiful luminous medium yellow, I would say. And it's a great color for mixes as well, for greens. And as you can see here, you can have a lovely gradation from dark mass tone to lighter tones. And it's a transparent color. Now, the next one, golden yellow, this is a more of an opaque, orangey yellow. But when I tried mixing greens with a lot of their uh, catalog, it gave some interesting mixes. I'm gonna share after I swatch all the colors as some of the mixes that I made using some of the colors I am sharing today. This is a warmer yellow, it's slightly, I would say maybe semi-transparent. Now, we have Benzimidazol orange, that is a very vibrant orange. Also, I would say semi-opaque or maybe opaque. I really love this type of orange. Also, if you are curious about the Roman Schmoll catalog, Otto Kano has a series of videos where um, she swatched all of their catalog at the time. I say at the time because they have released new colors since, but you can have a pretty good idea about most of their paints. In her videos, she does a lot of uh, in-depth analysis of the, all the properties of the colors. The next one, Pyrrol Scarlet. I think this is also semi transparent or semi opaque. <laughs> Not sure. It's a bright fire engine red. And I really like combining in a painting this type of red with, for example, a bright cobalt turquoise. I don't know why it just came comes to my mind always like a a floater in a pool or something like that. It's just the contrast between the red and the bright blue. I kind of use this type of contrast in one of my paintings. Um, I shared in my previous video a sketchbook tour. I can leave a card also here and I painted some fish with, um, I'm not sure if it was this uh, color in particular, but something on these lines with, in contrast to, to the blue, like I said. And, uh, ah, I should have mentioned probably, I'm using, um, to swatch this, the Clairefontaine uh, watercolor paper. It's a cellulose paper, so of course, um, you don't get the best results, but it's a, a nice enough paper that I use for swatching. And as I used this paper also for the previous videos in the series, I'll keep using the same. But believe me, this on uh, cotton paper will show even more beautifully. And what else? Now we have quinacridone red. I love quinacridone colors. And in the Sennelier favorite video, I had Quinacridon red, but theirs was what um, in Roman Schmoll is called Quinacridon cherry. 
which I was tempted also to include here, but I think since I already shared this one on the Sennelier line, I decided to go for the Quinacridone Red um, for the Roman Schmoll. It's a beautiful, um, cool pink, so it gives um, excellent mixes with um, cooler blues for purples. Now, the next one is a color I was super curious to try and when I uh, first tried it was this from a small one and I really fell in love with. That is ultramarine pink. It's a beautiful granulating color. Mine got a bit dirty with the the yellow at the top. I'm trying to get a proper amount of paint here. Okay. So despite the name, ultramarine pink is a kind of uh, lilac color. And it has a very lovely granulation. It may not show as well here on this type of paper because I'm not sure if it comes out I'm sorry if it comes through in the video but this paper has a type of a checkered uh, texture so I'm not sure if the granulation will show very well here but it's a fine granulation anyway for this uh, ultramarine pink Now, it seems like it's just starting to rain now. <laughs> I hope it will be okay, it won't be uh, too noisy. So I'll carry on. Next one is one of those beautiful color separating colors I mentioned. That's called Mineral Violet. This is similar to one in the Daniel Smith catalog. I'm not sure if it's called mineral violet as well. I'm gonna indicate here when I'm editing. But yeah, it's a multi-pigment purple. And it can have a lovely um, effect of color separation. I can see here already um, diluted, you can see some um, blue speckles. I'm gonna leave it like this and hope it will come through when it dries. I'm gonna show you a close-up as usual. Now we have ultramarine intense. This color was used a lot. <laughs> it's a great color for painting on its own but also for mixes because it's a granulating color and you can get very unique mixes with that. Actually, a lot of the catalog of granulating colors includes some, for, some sort of uh, ultramarine or cobalt because these paints have a very pronounced granulation. And I will share with you also in the end of the video the mixes I've done with this um, tone as well. Now, let's go to the second row. Here we have Cobalt Cerulean Blue. It's another color that has granulation and that I've used for mixing. A quite particular color as well. A more um, green leaning blue.
and here is the rain it's been very warm incredibly enough it's been very warm in dublin in the past few days it's like summer in september so i hope the the rain refreshes it a bit because yeah it's been uncomfortably warm if you can't believe it <laughs> now the next one is another color separating mix it's a beautiful turquoise type or teal more um, type of color it's called ocean and if you water it down you get a lovely um, separation between blue and green Maston is very similar to a phthalo turquoise, I'd say. But this is a multi pigment, I think it's two, two pigments or more. I'm trying to add more water here to encourage the separation so you can see. But this one, it's very discreet, the separation. I hope I'll be able to show you in a close-up afterwards, but I really, really love this color. These two here, it's chef's kiss, <laughs> this combination of uh, colors and everything that comes from mixing both, it's just beautiful. Now, of course, I could not <laughs> leave out a turquoise because that's one of my favorite colors and I have it in the previous video so I wanted to also share this one Roman Schmoll has two um, I think it's cobalt turquoise blue or something like that I'm gonna leave it here and cobalt sea blue is the one I have from what I understand or what I heard this is a tiny bit more um, leaning towards green and the other one is leaning more towards blue but they are very very similar and this color is just so beautiful and it's the type of color that i don't know if it's possible to mix you could but to get the same effects um, you would have to add the white probably that's what some brands do in uh, reproduction or hues but you don't get the same granulation so this is really in my humble opinion is a great color to have it's a single pigment color and you can use in mixes as well it's present in many of the super granulating colors as many cobalt now what else green gold also another favorite of mine they have two versions in the roman schmoll catalog they have green gold and another one i'm not sure if it's rich green gold or deep green gold or something along those lines so one of them is the py 129 that is the single pigment one and the other one uh, that I believe is this one I have, it's a mix. Because I have so many of the PY129 already, I got the mix from Roman Schmoll to test and I really love this color. The tone is beautiful. This is a bit more um, leaning towards green than the PY129. That one is a bit more brownish. But yeah, lovely, lovely color. This is a color palette for me already. This tur teal, turquoise and green gold. This is one of my favorite combinations. Love it. And you see, there's an other type. There's a lot of greens in this um, favorite video here because I love greens and Roman Schmoll has a lovely selection. The next one is a new one. It was in the last uh, batch of new colors that they released. It's called Autumn Green. 
it's a mix convenience color and it has a very beautiful color separation and texture as well i'm gonna try to show you here so it's kind of a sap green olive green kind of tone but if you dilute it you get some yellow background tone showing through i can see it here i hope you can see it also on the video there's a little bit showing you can see some speckles of um, dark green and some transparent yellow and it's really lovely color i got it recently but i decided to include here because i really love this mix and um, i know i mentioned before that for the schmincke catalog i didn't get into the whole super granulation uh, thing i thought um, i wanted to have the single pigments instead and do my own mixes but with Roman Schmoll, because they are so affordable, um, I'm more willing to try their um, convenience mixes. And I also like to support this company because I love their catalog. I love that they're always coming with new colors, that they are affordable and they are artist quality. So I really recommend this brand. And the next one is Aquarius Green. It's also a beautiful color separating green some people have compared it to undersea green from daniel smith and by the way um the roman small colors depending on your location you can find it uh, here in europe you can find it in jackson's and also arte miranda it is a Spanish uh, vendor. I'm gonna leave a link below if you are interested in trying this. I have an affiliate link uh, for Jackson, so if you ever get anything using one of my links, I get a small um, commission at no extra cost for you, so it helps me getting more materials to swatch here in the channel. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's showing through all the separation in the Aquarius Green, but I can definitely see in the Autumn Green here, so I'll be able to show you later. Now I have Olive Green Light, yet another tone on the same family, but it's my favorite type of green olive greens and green golds are my favorite type of green it's a bit similar to the green golds a bit um, more green i would say but they're quite similar Now we are finished with the greens, I'm getting into the earth tones. So the first one is Queen Acridone Gold, that is another very beautiful color, very luminous and great for mixes. Beautiful greens you can make with this color. I love this tone. actually like a lot the quinacridone colors very beautiful look at this together very autumn kind of okay last row 
this is one of the tones that I have in my custom palette over here. I can make a video, a future video showing the colors that I put together for this palette. I'm calling it, I'm calling it my autumn palette. I used one of the cigar tins I got from Amsterdam and I selected a bit of everything here. So one of the colors I have in this palette from Mama Schmoll is ginger red. It was also added not too long ago, maybe one year ago, maybe more, to the catalog. It's a very unique color. It's a kind of an earthy orange, I'd say of a brick tone it's opaque as you can see and has very lovely granulation as well and um, I remember checking the pigment when it came out and I think it's also a very um, unusual pigment let's say I'm not cannot uh, confirm it's only available from Roman Schmoll I'll check better when editing, but I remember it was particular pigment. It has this lovely kind of uh, toned down, um, muted orange. It's very beautiful. And you can have also very interesting mixes with this. Now, the next one another earthy tone that <laughs> has an interesting name that's called Mummy Red and they have a similar tone in the Daniel Smith catalog I think it's called Mummy Bauxite and it's also a type of um, earthy orange or burnt orange color it has a bit of texture as well and I fell in love with this color I used it a lot I got it just out of curiosity from Roman Schmo and I really love it I don't use a lot of burnt sienna but mummy red yeah it's just very appealing to me and funny thing is that this name um, actually has some um, dark history into it because in the past um, there were really um, paints that were made out of mummies, believe it or not. I have no idea how they were doing that, but they were indeed using mummified bodies to get a pigment which sounds quite creepy but fortunately this is not made out of the real thing anymore it just kept its name the next one is a color that I really really love um, I first discovered it uh, in the Winsor Newton catalog it's in the Roman Schmo it's called Queen Acridon Maroon and I know that this is PR206 and unfortunately, this is a pigment that has been announced. It will be discontinued. So if you want to try, I would advise you to get it while you still have it. Because it's a really, really lovely color. And I was so disappointed that it's discontinued because it's a very unique tone. And as all Queen Acridons, it's a very bright and luminous color. I think um, in the Winsor Newton catalog, it's called Madder Brown. It's a really lovely color. I've been considering stocking. <laughs> I don't know when the stock that is for sale will finish or the stock they have of this pigment will end up but I really love and this also will be lovely for mixing skin tones I think I'm not into portraits but it has some beautiful undertones uh, another earth tone 
that I fell in love with, with the Roman Schmoll um, version. It was a, a color I was intrigued by, but um, I had seen it on Daniel Smith's catalog. It's Go It Tight. But I think it was one of those premium colors, so I never got to to buy it from Dan Daniel Smith. And when I saw Roman Schmoll had it, it was one of the first ones I got, and boy, I love this color. I heard it's the granulation or the, the color separation is not as pronounced as in the Daniel Smith one. I cannot say because I don't have it, but I really love this one. It has this um, it's kind of a raw umber color, but you get also some granulation and texture of dark brown with it and it's lovely i can already see going on here and i will show you after in the close-up it's a very beautiful tone one of my favorite earth tones from um roman schmoll another one of my favorites is van dyke brown which unfortunately not only for roman schmoll but as a general Van Dyke Brown is not light fast, but I use it anyways <laughs> on things that are not going to be exposed to the sun because I really, really love it. It's a very unique brown with a lovely texture and it gives very beautiful mixes. You see here, it's a cool brown but the texture is amazing. I have this color from, from different um, brands, commercial and handmade. And I love all of the versions. This is one that, um, although I'm aware of the light fastness, I just, cannot resist this in um, diluted it's so beautiful you see the sparkles and the granulations coming through only to left I have Aquarius brown that is also a very very granulating color very beautiful they also have the same pigment on the Daniel Smith catalog. I think it's something like Lunar Earth or something of that sort. It's very opaque in my stone, as you can see. I took a bit too much here. Now, when I dilute it, you see the magic of the granulation in this color. It's, I think, one of the most granulating colors from Roman Schmoll that I have anyways. This granulates like crazy. And when you mix with any other color, this comes through with the granulation. So I think it's a really um, nice one if you want to paint maybe let's say metal and give this effect of oxidation of rust this would be great the last one is another brown a very dark brown is called cypress burnt umber deep as the name says it's a very dark brown and i really like it because it's a cooler brown and it's great to mix with other tones, to mute them down, to make them darker. It gives very interesting results. Kind of a very dark chocolate color. Really love it. This one has no granulation. But it's a lovely tone. So, 
let me zoom back a little bit so here you have 23 of all my favorite colors from the Roman Schmoll catalog as of now September 2023 there's already some new colors um, that had, have been announced and I cannot wait to try some of those two they seem to be very lovely but um, for now I'm gonna let these dry and once they're dry I'll do the close-up so you can see better so I had promised you I would show some of the beautiful mixes with uh, some of the colors that I showed you before Unfortunately, I finished recording the video and I just remembered hours later, so I'm including this little bit now on the video. So here you have some mixes with cobalt cerulean blue and ultramarine tents with lemon yellow. You can see the granulation that comes through. You have also here Indian yellow with cobalt cerulean blue and ultramarine intense same beautiful granulation coming through and because the indian yellow is this uh, warm tone you get this very warm olive greens then if you come here you will see the beautiful golden yellow that i said you get gorgeous mixes look at this kind of mustard colors mixing with cobalt cerulean blue and also some very dark moody greens with the ultramarine intense another mix i wanted to show you it's here this is a little mixing chart i made from the paints in that um, in this small palette here Two of the colors here are from Roman Schmoll and these are the other way around. It's here, so these are the ginger red. This is the color, pure. And then I have also Van Dyke Brown. That's this first one here. And here you can see a full range of mixed tones with Van Dyke Brown in this first line diluted so we can see even with the dilution of the color you get beautiful granulation and here with mass tone look at this mix of um, tailored turquoise and um, Van Dyke Brown this beautiful textural teal with mint also it's a very beautiful mix and then um, here is the ginger red you can see the mixes over here ginger red with the cobalt gives this very beautiful moody greens and yeah I hope this was useful so you can see also the possibilities of uh, some of these colors for mixes I have some other here um, with Parvo Scarlet for example um, Parvo Scarlet and Indian Yellow that are two of the colors that I showed you before and here I have Pyro red that is similar with ultramarine intense, cobalt cerulean blue, also very textural purples. All the swatches have dried, and now I'm gonna show you a close up.
I hope you were able to see as I, I said before here you have some um, blue coming through the mineral violet here in the autumn green you can see some dark blue popping out and there's some golden or yellow in the background in the aquarius green as well you have some darker blue or green tone um, what else in the ocean you don't see very much there's some light green appearing here it's very discreet and go with height like i said beautiful dark granulation also van dyke brown the very pronounced granulation of aquarius brown yeah there's a mix of everything you have granulating colors you have opaque transparent uh, color separating very beautiful selection of colors i hope you liked this video if you did remember to give me that like and i'll see you soon in the next video bye